Hey guys, Rodder to Breathe. I um, wanted to do a really sweet video for you with one of my production cameras, but I'm just going to use the iPhone. The video is a little more blue than what it's actually in real life, but that's fine. Um, so just wanted to give you an update on the 125 gallon aquarium. I know I've done a lot. I added the T5 lights, which I am so, so happy I did. I love them. Let's look at those first. I got this T5 light off Amazon. It's an agro bright light. I love it. It was like $85. It came with bulbs that I'm not going to use. I got some ATI bulbs from bulk reef supply. Now, I started out with a blue plus, a purple plus, a coral plus, and another coral plus. The two coral plus lights were uh, a little too bright, so I replaced it with, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a blue plus, a coral plus, a purple plus, and another blue plus at the end. So I have two blues, and you can see it a little better. Two blues on the end. The white one is the coral plus, and the purple is the purple plus. Um, it seemed like the corals were doing a little better as far as extending with both coral plus lights, but a little too white for me. Uh, this is perfect. It's white, but it's more shade of blue. It's misleading because there's blue shining up against the wall here right so we've got like a permanent huge nightlight as you can see it illuminates the whole area so at night it's just crazy all right so again it's a little more blue than what it actually is if I could white balance this it would look better but anyway that's actually what it looks like. Corals are doing good. The star polyps, they're doing well, but they're a little, I don't know, they look a little wilted. Like, they're not outstretched straight. They're a little curled. I don't like that. No big deal. Hey, what's up? Yeah, it's time to eat. I gotta feed these guys. Um, Duncan is doing really good. Star polyp, again, a little curled. I don't like that. I rely on the star polyps to let me know what the water quality is like. And um, I haven't checked my nitrates in about a week, but they're, they're pretty low. I am still sugar dosing. There's the uh, lawnmower Blenny. I love that guy. I decided to name him Kermit just last night. He was perched on the rock watching me. And he just... He just looks like Kermit to me. Kermit the Frog! Um, so that's Kermit. Fish are looking great under this light. This guy... I, I love this guy. I, mean, I love all my fish, but this little guy... Just doing great. Of course, you guys all know the Fowlery Tang. Lighting isn't the best to showcase these guys. It's getting blurry. It's like a, a blue haze. I don't like it. This is better. Okay, we got the naso tang, the yellow tang, the fox face, uh, of course the fowlery tang, uh, the coal tang. A lot of tangs. Uh, five clowns. Um, my hammer coral from Coralust. Thank you, Danny, again. It's closed up a little bit. It's usually much more full than that. Kind of looks like this normally. It's, it's closed, though, for some reason. I can't stand this video. It looks, like, really blue. It's not this blue again, I stress. Uh, fire shrimp, where is he? He's not there, but 
Well, there he is. He's getting much larger. You can't really tell. Um, this dude, Snowflake Eel. You guys saw my video. He's home. Soon, there he is. I'm going to feed him soon. As soon as I put him in here last night, he went right to this huge rock. And there was all this dust kick up or sand kicking up from back here. He burrowed underneath this rock. So this is going to be his home, which makes it easy to feed him. I got some long metal skewers. I'm going to feed him shrimp before bedtime. He's only been in there a day, so he's still nervous. There's Kermit. <laughs> um, I have my Mandarin Gobi in here somewhere. Oh yeah, the Sailfin Tang, I didn't show you him. You've seen him before. Mandarin Gobi is in here somewhere. There's a sand sifting starfish. And there should be a Harlequin Shrimp. But I haven't seen him in three weeks. The tank looks like a nice baby blue with some bright light. It's just not picking up that well with the iPhone. I, I apologize. Really bothers me when I... Oh, there he is. This dude always hides out when I bring out the camera. There he is. He's doing really well. Um, that's it. I got these lights. I'm still lazy. I have the lights suspended by zip ties. I did get, um, they call it airline cabling. It supports up to 1,500 pounds. It's very thin. I bought it a week ago. I'm too lazy. I have not, you know, set it up yet because this is working fine. I don't really care. Again, I'm lazy. So there's the tank. I'm thinking about lowering the light. Not the light itself, but these stands that I built. There's no reason for them to be that high. Thinking about unscrewing this and adding a, a one foot extension so it comes across like this. In the first video where I showed you guys how I built these, I said this is conduit. I lied. I kept saying conduit. It's actually gas pipe, which is why they're so much heavier. This is gas pipe, and I did not use conduit. Conduit would have worked great, but I used the gas pipe. See? Spray painted it black. I got my light diffuser egg crates. I did buy the mesh top from Bulk Reef Supply, the 1 8 inch. But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to install it. Mainly because I am lazy and I don't want to risk the snowflake eel jumping out because they are escape artists and I'm afraid he's gonna push up on that netting and get out so I'm just gonna leave this on because I've got it where I it's down pretty tight I mean see it comes up but I can press down and it locks in place because it's nice nice fit so it everything looks good so that's what's going on with the tank. Uh, let me show you underneath. It's going to be a little loud because I'm going to open the doors. Just kind of show you what's going on here, what's in the sump. Still have my eShops cheap little, uh, I want to say 15 gallon sump. Uh, let's see. My eShops S200 skimmer, my rotter tube. The water comes in from both overflows. It goes through my three inch clear router tube, which is filled with um, foam. So that takes out a lot of debris in the tank. And then I have another foam right here. Or filter floss, whatever I feel like, to catch what's going on. So my sump is pretty clean. I removed one of the rocks from the tank to give the fish more swimming space. I would have taken it out completely, but it's a shame. 
to not have that bacteria in the tank, so I threw it in the sump. Even though I don't like having anything in the sump, I just put it in there. That big rock used to be right here. Now there's a lot more swimming space for the fish. Um, that's it. I'm not running any carbon or anything. It's just simple rotter tube to catch the debris, mechanical filtration. Goes into the sump, it gets picked up by the protein skimmer. And then I got water polishing used by these foam. I just usually cut it like three inches by 12 inches. And I just lay it in there and I change it out every three days. Really inexpensive to do. Let's see if we can get in some of the fish. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> what are you doing? Is it time to eat? Yeah? Is it time to eat? They know. Look at it. everyone's coming to the surface now. All right, I'm gonna feed these guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry, the video quality is so blue. I'll do a really nice video for you guys um, with the other camera. But I just wanted to get a quick, give you guys like a quick look. I just did a little vacuuming, so that's why this stuff's floating around a bit. All the clowns are happy swimming. All right, thanks again. If you liked the video, go ahead and subscribe and like it, etc., etc. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Boy, for someone who says a video just every Saturday, I'm doing a lot. Well, this can be a cool update. So, anyway. The simplistic form, I don't have any reactors, I don't have any auto top off units, I don't have any extra mechanical things and contraptions. I like simple, I like nature to take its course, I like nature to run things. I don't dose anything, I don't dose magnesium, I don't dose anything. The only thing I put in here once every three weeks is like, a quarter cup of calcium crystals when I do a water change once every three weeks and I only do that because my purple rock is coralline algae and that stuff thrives on the calcium you gotta have the calcium and I keep my calcium at 450 to 500 I don't know what it is now I haven't tested anything in a couple weeks but everything's doing well last time I tested nitrates they were about 10 and that was two weeks ago. So, um, by the way, the type of filtration I'm running with just a simple mechanical filtration and a protein skimmer or some sock, but I hate those. But that's called a Berlin filtration where it's all natural. Um, that's it, simple. I was gonna get a new sump, like I told you guys, but this is working great. I don't need the extra water volume. I don't have a refugium. Algae scrubber, reactors, I got nothing. Just mother nature, you know? And it's it's going really well. I'm not against those things. I just like simplicity. Um, I do, boy, I'll tell you, I had the glass lids on top of the aquarium, and I hate them. I like these so much more. They're so much easier to work with. Look how light they are. I just put them right back on top. I'm not going to press them down because I'm going to feed these guys. But, look at it, it looks good. Sure, they diffuse the light a little bit, but that's okay. Um, but I'm telling you, I lose about one gallon to one and a half gallons of water a day. I go through a lot of water, but I haven't noticed an increase in the water bill, so that's good. But man, I was topping off maybe a gallon every three days when I had the glass tops on, but because this 
is wide open, I'm losing a gallon and a half a day, easy. So I come home, I put a gallon in. I go to bed, I put half a gallon in. It's crazy, you guys. But I don't mind, I gotta feed them every day, I'll put water in every day. I'd rather not have an auto top off unit because I've heard horror stories about them. Either they malfunction and then it overfills your sump. I, I just don't need that. And, and I, I like simple, I'll do everything that I need to do manually um, within reason. But that's why I've got simple, simple, simple. Um, that's all I've got for you now. Sorry the video is a little longer, but I just wanted to give you an update and share what's up. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I love the comments and I love responding to them. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you later. I got to feed these guys because they're waiting for me.